Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about two types of paths inside graphs. So the first type of graph will be the uh, Eulerian Eulerian circuit. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, but uh, it's basically a path where um, the path. So firstly, the path starts and ends at the same node, and uh, so if we have a graph. Let's draw a graph since it's better to explain that way. So one, and then two, three, four, then five, So basically, a Eulerian path is a path where it starts and ends at the same node, and then it visits each node exactly, uh, exactly once. So one such path could start from uh, here, and then go here, 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 here. So uh, the the way to there's a simple way to check whether or not an, an Eulerian path exists within a graph. So basically, we can just look at the degrees of each um of each vertice. So by degree, we mean like the number of edges that are connected to the vertice. So uh, say from here, uh, we can see. Uh, well, if we get rid of the arrows, I think that would be easier. But just pretend the arrows aren't here. So just for example, the degree of this node would be three. So judging from no, uh, sorry, the degree of this node would be two because there are two nodes or two edges connected to this node, and then the degree of node two would be four since there are four edges, and for this would be two, etc. So the simple way to find whether or not there is an Eulerian path is by looking at the degrees of these nodes. So if every uh, degree in the graph is um, is even. If every degree is even, then there is a valid path. And there could also be a path if exactly two um, degrees are odd. And otherwise, uh, there can be no Eulerian paths. It's just how it works. Um, the mathematician Euler proved it. And there's another sort of path called a Hamiltonian path. Now, there is an algorithm to help construct Eulerian paths. So basically, it starts off with um, a smaller uh, graph, and then it connects or it adds subgraphs to extend upon the old graph and to construct a valid one. So here is a valid Eulerian path, and then it just keeps going by adding uh, valid subgraphs. So like here, and then all the way up to here. Yeah, so this degree remains even, and then all the other degrees also remain even. So we can also add another subgraph by doing, like, say this, and then we can see that this is still valid. And then, yeah, so that's basically how one algorithm works. And then there's another sort of path called a Hamiltonian path. A Hamiltonian path is uh, contrary to an Eulerian path where it's you know, visiting each edge exactly once. Uh, a Hamiltonian path basically visits each node exactly once. Now, there's no way to, uh, there's no way to, there's no easy way to find uh, if a Hamiltonian path exists within a graph, uh, like the Eulerian uh, circuit. You can just count the num or just count the degrees of each node. But for Hamiltonian path, there is no easy way to find out. So you could just try to construct a Hamiltonian path through backtracking. So that's certainly one way. You can also use dynamic programming to list like a bunch of subsets of nodes and then see if each um, other node outside of the subset uh, just check whether or not there is a Hamiltonian path between like subsets of nodes, smaller subsets of nodes. And then, yeah, there's no other way to find a Hamiltonian path. Uh, but 
uh, there, are, there are some patterns that indicate that there is a Hamiltonian path. For example, um, if there is an edge between every pair of nodes, then there is a Hamiltonian path. Remember, a Hamiltonian path has to start and end at the same node. So yeah. And then there's also Dirac's theorem, which is if each degree, if the degrees of each node is at least n divided by 2, then uh, then the graph contains a Hamiltonian path. And then, yeah, so I hope you learned something new today. We talked about Eulerian circuits and Hamiltonian paths. And yeah, goodbye.